Acute myeloid leukemia, also known as AML, is an aggressive cancer that attacks the bone marrow. Around 30,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with it each year. Now, as Shelley Botot reports in HealthWatch, a new drug combination is stopping it in its tracks. David Cade was told he had two weeks to live. Eight days later, doctors could not find any trace of leukemia in his body. David Cade, a.k.a. Papa, can either build it, fix it, I just put a bunch of junk together, or figure it out. I love to just tear stuff up and see what makes it work. But there wasn't anything in his toolbox that could repair what was wrong with him last year. It was just like life leaving me. And he went to bed, so I knew he was really sick. In just hours of arriving at the hospital, he was given the news. He said it's leukemia. He said... You've got anywhere from two weeks to two months to live. Diagnosed with AML, doctors said at 71, David wouldn't survive traditional high-intensive chemotherapy. Well, basically told my kids goodbye, my grandkids goodbye. Oncologist Dan Polia did have one option, an FDA-approved clinical trial testing a low-dose chemo combined with the pill Vinoclax, a drug that targets leukemia stem cells. We've never seen a drug work like this uh, to target uh, any type of cancer cell, let alone a stem cell. The drug kills a protein called BCL2. This protein feeds the leukemia stem cells. When it dies, so does the stem cell. This is a completely new way to kill a cancer. Before Vinoclax, only a minority of older patients would respond to their therapies. With this new treatment, over 70% achieve remission. That's the dream of a lifetime. Dave received the treatment eight days later. He said, we can't find it. It's not in your body. Now, more than a year out. They can't find a trace of it. I am so blessed. I've been blessed all my life. But this truly was a blessing. The CU cancer hematology teams believe this new approach to killing cancer could destroy other tumor types, including breast, pancreatic, and colon. There are two clinical trials enrolling patients right now, including the very first one for younger AML patients. For more information, go to our website. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.